hi everyone it's a beautiful monday morning and i'm still basking in the euphoria of chirima's win and i want us to draw inspiration from that young lady's story for our week this week so i want you to remember that this young lady was faced with a lot of attacks oppression challenges and that's what we can even see from the outside we don't even know what it meant for her like dealing with it personally but one thing we did observe is that she exuded grace she was determined and most importantly if you remember you notice that there was never a time when she focused her efforts towards addressing her attackers her oppressors her haters what she did was she was putting the effort she was channeling her energy towards the parts that actually mattered you know people were still saying oh where's chivima leave south africa the next time we heard she's registered in the competition in nigeria you know so when you think about challenges don't think about them as limitations think about them as stepping stones stepping stones in the sense that in hindsight if you actually look at it that girl wouldn't have gone far in that competition in south africa because it was when you realize that oh my god let's say these people do not come out head on you know trying to attack her so much publicly let's say they had done some kind of covert xenophobia we won't even know you know she won't even know she would just think oh i wasn't good enough but that girl was star quality she stood there and she would beat every other person down but they just didn't think she deserved to be there which is good that they did it openly that's why i am always going to say that everything that happened for cheating Ma was for a good reason because look where it took her to and i want you to draw the inspiration from this girl's story for your own challenges number one don't feel disadvantaged don't feel put down when you feel those struggles look at how to surmount your challenges and do it gracefully number two it is counterproductive to spend time trying to deal with your haters that's just good energy on the wrong wrong issues channel that energy to where it actually counts because at the end of the day results speak louder than any other counter-attack you don't even need to bother number three determination resilience will take you far it doesn't matter what you're dealing with because you are always going to be dealing with something so you need to develop that thick skin to be able to surmount every challenge and i know a lot of people have been saying she was discriminated upon she should have won she was cheated let's borrow a page from cheating man stay on the positive sides and let's take the lessons for our week for our own challenges and to be honest realistically that is an inspiring story no matter how you want to look at it especially when you look at where cheating man is coming from and she wouldn't have gone far in this competition that far if she had come from south africa Everything that happened helped to take Chidema to where she is and she representing Africa is just what she needed to do right now, representing African women. And I would say she won. In a nice twist of fate, she's right where she needed to be. And honestly, I watched that show. When she answered that last question, she didn't answer that question giving it the response that would show that she was going to be representing all the women in the world focusing on african women which is great which is not bad because right now we have her she's representing african women so take these as your lessons um just go out there and understand that you have all it takes to surmount all the challenges that come your way this week have a great week long always Bye, guys.